Here, you can set the clock, adjust the centering of the screen, and choose which language you wish to use. When you first turn on the CD TV player without a disc, you will see this screen. By pressing any button, you can bring up this screen. The highlight is on the time setting box. Simply enter the time of day using the remote control number buttons. For example, to enter 1256, just select this symbol and press 1 and 2 on the remote control. Then select this symbol and press 5 and 6 on the remote control. If you make a mistake, just enter the numbers again. Here you can select AM, PM, or a 24-hour mode. If you wish to display time in 24-hour mode, you will have to enter the time using 24-hour conventions. For example, if you enter 446 and then select 24-hour mode, the CD TV player will assume that it is 446 AM. To set the player to 446 PM, you would have to enter 1646 before saving your preference settings. This is the date symbol. Here you can set the date using the number keys on the remote control. This picture, next to the clock setting boxes, is used to set the screen centering. To adjust the screen centering, highlight this button. Press and hold down the A button on the remote control. Then press the arrow keys to move the screen. This button is used to turn the screen saver option on or off. If you leave your CD TV player on for any length of time without performing any actions, the screen saver will automatically be activated. You can adjust the amount of time the screen saver waits before it starts running by highlighting this symbol and pressing the left select button to cycle through the five delay settings. One minute. Five minutes. Ten minutes. 30 minutes, or infinity, which means the screensaver is completely deactivated. To reactivate the title when the screensaver is running, just press the B button on your remote control. This symbol changes the display format for many CD TV titles. If you wish to record sections of a CD TV title on a VCR, Try activating this symbol first. This symbol is used to turn the audio click option on or off. If the option is on, then you will hear a click sound whenever you press any button on the remote control. Here you will see different language buttons. To change the language that your CD TV player will use, you may scroll the list of languages up or down. First, highlight this button. Then press and hold down the A button on the remote control. Then press the arrow keys to move the list of languages up or down. To save any preferences changes and exit the preferences screen, just press the enter button on the remote control. Be advised that if the CD TV player is unplugged, the preference settings will return to the factory default settings. To go on to the next section, press the left select button or the play button on your remote control. Now, let's take a look at the CDTV audio panel. Your CDTV player can be used to play regular CD audio discs, as well as playback CD plus graphics discs. To play a CD, just put the disc into a caddy and insert it into your CD TV player. You will see this screen. This box shows you the current track number. Here is the time display. It changes to show the elapsed time of the current track, remaining time of the current track, elapsed time of the entire disc, or remaining time of the entire disc. Here is the Disk Time button. It lets you pick how you want the time information displayed. 
Pressing this button will cycle through the various disk timing displays. Be it elapsed time of the current track, remaining time of the current track, elapsed time of the entire disk, or remaining time of the entire disk. This display shows you what mode the player is in. Stopped. Playing. Paused. Skipping back. Or skipping forward. This is the preview button. It allows you to hear just the first 10 seconds of each track. This is the loop button. When activated, your player loops through the tracks in the track order display. The loop button can also be used to replay a small segment of a song. While the CD audio disc is playing, move the highlight to the loop button. Press the A button on the remote control to mark the beginning of the segment. The loop button will light. When you reach the end of the segment, press the loop button again. The segment will then begin to play over and over until you press the loop button again. This is the CD Plus graphics and CD Plus MIDI symbol. If you have a CD Plus graphics or a CD Plus MIDI disc, you can watch the visuals on your TV or send the MIDI signals to a MIDI device. Just select this button and then press the play button on the remote control. Here is the track order display. It shows you which tracks will play and in what order. If there are more tracks on a disc than will fit in the track order display, you can scroll through the list to see the rest. This is the randomizer symbol. When you click on this symbol, the tracks will be arranged in a random order. This is the track order button. Pressing this button once turns off all the numbers in the track order display. You can then turn individual tracks on or off by pointing at the number and pressing the left select button. When you play the disc, you will hear only those tracks that are turned on in the track order display. Pressing the track order button a second time will clear the track order display. You can then use the number buttons on your remote to enter any track sequence you choose. Just enter each track number and press the enter button after each selection. Pressing the track order button a third time will reset the track order display. So the first time turns them all off and I can turn on the tracks I want to hear just by clicking on them? Right. The second time clears the display and I can enter tracks in any order I want. Right. The third time sets it all back to normal, right? Right. So how do I start playing a CD after I set all these things? Just press the play button on the remote control. To go on to the next section, press the left select button or the play button on your remote control.